You lost your nets or you lost your marbles? I've lost everything. <laughs> We're back. I would say it's been a long time. Lots of stuff has been going on. You've been to Germany and didn't take me. That's true. That's yeah. how I got my break from yeah. you. While you were on break, I did something that just sort of happened overnight. Basically, my wife and I bought an oceanfront house, had to go down. So my fish room is kind of in limbo again. We're talking about doing some re... Do I move these around too much? No, it's, it's like you're directing traffic or <laughs> you're, you're landing a plane with those things. We're talking about doing some remodeling stuff in here. Also about what's coming up in the shop. We need totes for koi and goldfish and other stuff at the store. And uh, you know, some potential other stuff that's gonna happen that is gonna help the store and. Yep. Last time I think we did a fish room video, we were talking about, you know, removing this for some custom aquariums. Those finally should arrive in the next two to three weeks. Right. It took months to prepare. We've already got one that landed in the store. And so now here we are going, oh, they're here, we better, Make right. room. No one has seen this. Elmer's doing really good. The, the, the giant bow is doing amazing. So those are, those are the fake plants I brought back from Germany. <laughs> those were absurdly expensive. But after I've seen them, I want them in my turtle tank. You won't guess how much they are each. Uh, like 10 bucks? More. More. 20. More. Holy crap. Yeah, they're like 23 bucks per plant. Holy crap. They were really expensive, but they looked really good. You'll see the video when, when the video comes out about the uh, Malawi cichlid place. Right. They worked really because, you know, some Malawis won't allow plants. Yeah. They looked really good yeah. in some of the tanks, and I fell in love with them. And then the sticker price shocked me, but they're made locally in Europe, handmade each one. It's a special material, though. It's not silk. It's not it's hard not plastic. plastic. It is a plastic, but it's a different plastic. Oh, it's a soft plastic. And there's the different colors. This, that's the part I like right there. Yeah, so it, it, it is the perfect product outside of a billion dollars. I asked him already, like, what if I bought a ton and sold them in the U.S.? And he's like, there's, like I'm not even making money on them because he's paying like just some local people to make them. You brought a bunch of them back for me, right? I did not. I, I know that we can get some shipped though, because yeah, I have to go back. I'm going back for vivarium yeah, and I could stop by. Yeah, I could stop by and get more if you want more, but do know they're like $23 a piece. And that's what 10 of them looks like. So the problem is any real plant he's gonna chow. Except for that hornwort. He did chow every other plant, but he, Hornwort is holding true that most fish and, and stuff don't like to eat that plant. They don't like it. So we're lucky, but yes. Now, if you guys want to see something really cool, uh oh, I want you to see how clear Ladybird's tank is. I just fed, it's not even as clear. It's clear. So the only thing we really did is, um, did we, we cleaned one filter. We added a filter. We added a filter and I think it's the air more than anything. Yeah, these big the air big stones. Um, she is so happy, or he, and hungry. Yeah, she's always hungry. We added neon tetras. We haven't put all the neon tetras. This is to make sure that... We're going to put the rest today. Yeah, that's the goal. rest of them go in today. We planted it before I went to Germany. The plants are growing in, taking a little while, but they are growing in. I ran out of fertilizer without realizing, so that stunted it. And before people are like, oh my gosh, what air stone is that? Where can I get it? Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm testing Stay all tuned. the options. We're making it better and highly likely we'll sell it in the best form. Exactly. So you, you could go find that form and then realize after you're done buying them, and they're expensive by the way, they're like 15 to 20 bucks, they're not cheap, but realize, oh, if I had waited, I would have got the better form. Exactly. Yeah, Ladybird doing the Ladybird thing. Did we take, no, we didn't take anything out of this. We didn't. No, we did. We, we never showed it, Bob showed it on his channel, but we took out oh, all the extra a, decor and all that. That's so that's true. why she's, more active as she feels like she's got a bunch more room. Oh yeah, we added extra lights. Oh, that was like that whole day we spent that. adding the extra row of lights so it perfectly lights up. Uh, the light stops like right here. And so it's not putting a bunch of algae on the glass. That took us hours to get the right placement. So yeah, all these totes, if we're good today, will come out. Otherwise, we got a lot of projects to do though. How many did I get? Zero. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a Barbados. Yep, the last corridor of Barbados we finally got from over there. Dean's taking them home. We've been talking about it for probably six months. We might catch the ones that are in here to make one big group. 
because there's a lot of fish, well, not a lot of shrimp and uh, a mix mash of fish in there, really. You can see one of them. Oh, look right at how there. big he is. Think I can get him on the first time? I doubt it. <laughs> Although, if the camera's on, you do have that like camera charisma luck. No, he's like, he's like gone. Uh, there's one big rosy barb, oh, that's a and there's rosy a bunch barb? of super reds, but not the long fin version. That Those... rosy barb's like... Yeah, like it's, it's a monster. He's been no competition eating a lot of shrimp in there. No kidding. It's probably worth $10,000 at this point. We have a moving fish down to this row from that row, breaking down auto feeders. Still have a couple of end tanks to do. Yeah, I'm worried about those. Yeah, because I got duckweed. Yeah, because you know, if I go home with one thing of duckweed under my fingernail, I've got it everywhere. That's all it takes. Duckweed and Endler's Liber. And? And pothos. Check this out, guys. You're gonna have duckweed on you for sure now. The floating water spray. Floating, but it's the broad leaf stuff. Yep. The stuff we sell won't get that broad. No. All right, back to catching more fish. One hour later. How many do you think it is? Total, I ordered 500. Uh, they went through quarantine, so I'm sure there's a few losses, you know, whatever that looks like of like, oh, there are only 486 came to me or something, and maybe I've lost a few. <laughs> maybe I've lost a few. I mean, I didn't see any bodies or anything. But I took like one solid scoop just to make sure that Ladybird wasn't going to eat them, and they've lived in there for like six weeks now. They, you put that in last time I was here. That's Yeah, it's been a, maybe it's been eight like weeks. two months. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is not food. Not food. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Two hours later. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I always love this. It's not food. There they go. Schooling. I like that. I they're doing what the other ones did, and they're going to stay at the bottom for probably the first, probably the first day. day. I think we'll get a paper towel. This is the new ones? Well, yeah. Some of them got a bit there. Right? I'm sure they're starting to mix a little bit, yeah. But no, they like to hunker down, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them over the next few hours, they'll start raising up. So earlier, right back there is where the horse face loaches were. Yeah, there's one in there right now in the in the weeds. Let's see if I can zoom in. You gotta see it right in the center of the screen right now. Kind of, you can see its eyeball. They usually burrow. All right. Well, now we gotta we gotta wash a, a 20 foot long background. Yeah. What's in that box right there? Yep. My Magic. favorite aquarium cleaner. Super windy, but I thought I'd show off the pond. Definitely needed to mow today, but I'll probably mow in a couple of days. I have meetings tomorrow, but, and a little campfire area right over there. All right, back to work. But it looks like it's all gonna be usable. Right. There was a lot of these, like that crack down there, but it was for instance. All the way through. Yeah. So some of it we have to go through and figure out how we're gonna make the cut. Because it only needs to be 35 inches tall, and this should be four, four feet, I think. That doesn't look like four feet, though. Is it uh, easier to do because it's summer and you're in the Aquarium Co-op limited edition shirt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like trying to clean sandpaper. It roughs your hands up so bad. Right. All right, so now it's inside. You see this, I don't know if that gets added on or what, and you see the footprints and, and this kind of stuff. This is after washing, that's not our footprints. So that's kind of, you know, you get curled edges and all that. And yeah, so hopefully now it can dry. We'll flip it over maybe after dinner. Yeah, hope for the best. All right, Dean's been fed crab and- Cupcakes uh, and shrimp. And scallops. scallops. Yeah, neon tetras and mephistos and- All that. 
and we caught as many as we could. There is, so there's got to be one more we missed, I'm sure, but we we'll get it next time. More, we'll have to get it when the water clears. And I'm taking them home with this um, aquarium co-op battery powered. That's right. Pump. Now, this isn't just a battery powered pump. You can also plug it in. Yep, works normal. And it works normally too. Automatically comes on, the power goes out, has a power saving mode. What people don't know is version 2.0 that's coming, it's got even more features. You'll be able to dial up and down the amount of air intensity. I like that. We're also making a dual, uh, so that one's a single output. We also have a dual output, but you'll also be able to change how intense, so you don't have to use a little valve. You can just change it change on, the yep. Yes, the latest version it's of the, the LED. Version, yeah. I was getting prototypes back at the old house. We've been here almost two years. That's right. So for sure, at least three, I've been working on a light and 98% chance this one's rolling out. Oh yeah. All right, let's load you up, Dean. All Time right. for you to do the long drive home. Cheers, guys.